as you expected, I'm from Indonesia because uh, I it's thinking about the Indonesian context and also I'm very party, so like like uh, ambassador here. Uh, my background study why I study Buddhist in Indonesia because I'm Muslim actually. I'm not a Buddhist but I'm Muslim. But uh, I have to teach uh, world religion in uh, my college in uh, Alimbang. It is Islamic college. So the the student are, are all of the students are Islam, so Muslim. So uh, and I am Muslim. I like knowledge about the Buddhist and Buddhism. That's why I want to study Buddhist and Buddhism first. Then I I can enlighten my uh, student about the, what is Buddhist and Buddhism. Because there is also misunderstanding uh, about the Buddhist uh, in Indonesia, especially for the Muslim uh, student. When I ask them, uh, what do you know about the Buddhism? Buddhism, they say that uh, uh, Buddhist is actually a worship the statue. Uh, so the the Buddha is a it's a they imagine that Buddha is a their god. So actually uh, the. Uh, many Muslims actually misunderstood, including me. I was misunderstood about the Buddhist and Buddhism. Uh, so next, the sec, uh, sorry. Uh, the second reason uh, why I want to study about the Buddhist in Indonesia because if you can see that the Southeast Asia, there are two dominant religion in Southeast Asia. Uh, you can meet Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. There are Buddhists. Uh, but uh, in Indonesia and uh, uh, Malaysia, the the dominant uh, the dominant religion here is uh, most Islam. So I think uh, my my study will become the uh, will uh, benefit for for the intercultural uh, understanding between Muslim and also the Buddhist. And uh, and uh, the background start background study, practice study about the Buddhism in, in Southeast Asia or Buddhist community in Southeast Asia they centered on that mainland there's not said there's uh, it's very uh, a few studies about the Buddhism in Indonesia and speaking about the Buddhism in Southeast Asia mostly they study about the Theravada Buddhism but Indonesia in Buddhist Buddhism in Indonesia have a different or uniqueness between uh, uh, compared to the Buddhism in South Asia, Asia uh, especially in Ravada. Because first, uh, the, the majority of Buddhists in Indonesia is actually Chinese uh, Indonesian. The Chinese Indonesian actually embrace uh, Theravada tradition and also Mahayana tradition. But there is also the third, uh, the third uh, tradition or the third sect uh, that, uh, in Indonesia. The third sect in Indonesia is uh, have the theism, or they believe in uh, monotheism. They believe in oneness of God. That's uh, made different from the uh, Buddhism in other of the, of the world. Uh, why uh, uh, Buddhism in Indonesia believe in one God? Uh, there are so many possibilities, but uh, the political possibilities uh, I'll I will uh, discuss later. Uh, so and the, the study about the Buddhism in Indonesia uh, is uh, many of them is study about the ancient. It's not me. It's a uh, Buddha, uh, Buddha Gautama. It's in, in Borobudur. It's the large, the the greatest uh, Buddhist monument in the world. One of them is in Indonesia. It's in Borobudur. Uh, but only small proportion of. Uh, Buddhist in Indonesia is on uh, is less than one percent. It's only zero point seven. Uh, the percentage of uh, Muslim uh, Buddhist in Indonesia compared to the Muslim in Indonesia uh, Muslim uh, is uh, uh, the the population is only uh, one million and seven hundred compared to the Muslim is two hundred thirty eight million uh, Muslim. So. Uh, the Muslim in Indonesia now is uh, 88 uh, percent compared to 0.7 percent of Buddhists. So that's why uh, that that's uh, Buddhist is uh, small proportion or minority that they they experience ignorance and uh, 
negative short term stereotype. Uh, why? Because uh, being a Buddhist in Risa, uh, as a, uh, in my previous study, that uh, it's uh, they have dilemma. If the, they they said that the center of Buddhism is not about the theism, so it's related, it's uh, connected uh, to the atheism. While atheism is against the uh, first precept of, of uh, in recent philosophical uh, foundation, that's Pancasila. The first precept of Pancasila is belief in monotheism. So being atheism is totally wrong in Indonesia. And second, if they said that uh, uh, they, 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 it's a look like that uh, uh, Buddhists make a veneration in in the front of the statue that it's uh, uh, connected to the primitive because uh, worshiping statue is uh, related to the animism. So becoming animism is uh, only wrong in Indonesia. This is because the notion of a uh, religion is in Indonesia is uh, problematic. And the notion of what is religion in Indonesia is based on the uh, Ministry of Religious Affairs in Indonesia. There are uh, at least two. They believe in uh, monotheism and second have a, have a scripture. Uh, the practice of uh, the religious practice that not based on the scripture is not categorized as a religion. And not belong to the religion is problematic with the with the civil civic Specific rights because one of the column of the uh, Indonesian ID card it have it has to uh, to name what religions you are so you cannot blend the 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 columns so you have to choose one of five or six uh, now is six religions is including Confucianism Confucianism actually is not uh, categorized as religion but in Indonesia indeed. Uh, the Confucianism have a God also. Uh, that's why they have to adjust with the with the social and political condition in Indonesia. That's interesting to me. So, what my research purpose then is to understand Buddhist community about their history, uh, culture, and religious life in Indonesian modern era. Uh, that's why I uh, propose method. Uh, I use the uh, social phenomenology uh, since. Uh, it can. Uh, I, I want to know more about the Buddhi, uh, Buddhist and Buddhism from the pres perspective of the the object studies, and I use the documentation for to dig the history, how how the genesis of becoming the Buddhist community there, and interview about the meaning to know the meaning, how they how it look like to being a Buddhist in the middle. Uh, minority Buddhist in the middle of the majority Muslim in Indonesia. So I use only also the observation to look at closer of the religious and material culture, culture and also their behavior of being Buddhist. Uh, that's uh, my acknowledgement. Um, uh, thanks to the my supervisors, of course, uh, Dr. Aksu Erika Smith, Betty Not and Nathan Franklin. Thank you, that's my first question.